basil just won't quit. And I am harvesting a big basket like this about every other week. And so I'm gonna take this in and freeze it. And I freeze basil in a different way than I think most people do. There's the classic method where you chop up the basil, put it in an ice cube tray, and then pour olive oil over it. And that's a fine method, it works well enough, but it's not for me, I don't prefer to do it like that. And the reason is, is that I like to use a lot of basil when I'm cooking, and I don't necessarily wanna use that much olive oil along with it, and there's a better way to do it. So I'm gonna take this inside, and I'm gonna show you how I freeze basil. I avoid washing my herbs at all costs, just because if you wash them, you have to dry them really well. And drying, especially basil, is a little bit hard to do. It's hard to get this completely dry. So only if it has a lot of dirt splash on the underside of the leaves is when I wash it, and mine doesn't. So I'm not washing this today. I grew it. I'm the only one who's ever touched it. I just picked it with clean hands, so it is good and ready to go. Now there might be a couple bugs in here, but I'm going to get those as I go through and process this, because what I'm going to do now is pick up each cutting, and I'm going to pluck the leaves off. Now you can see each leaf has a stem that attaches to the stalk. And I don't prefer those stems in my basil, so I like to clip it right where the leaf meets the stem. And that is the leaf that I wanna use. And something to know about basil is that it's very sensitive and it bruises really easily. So you have to be gentle as you're plucking the leaves off. And so as I'm going through these, I'm just kind of scanning the underside to make sure that there are no, uh, mostly little spiders is what I'm looking for here. And if you come across a leaf that is damaged, as long as it's not bruised, it's completely fine. If it's torn, if it has bug holes in it, you can absolutely use it. You are not even gonna believe how easy this next part is. So here's what you need. You'll need a mixing bowl and you'll need to measure out your basil. So I just plucked mine right into a big measuring cup. That's a four cup measure. I stuffed it pretty full and it's overflowing. So I'd estimate I have probably around six cups there. As long as you're close, that's fine. You'll need a freezer bag and some olive oil. Put your basil in the mixing bowl. And then for every three cups of basil you have, you're gonna use approximately one tablespoon of olive oil and just drizzle it on. And because I have six cups of basil here, I'm gonna use approximately two tablespoons of oil. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your best kitchen tool and you're gonna be really gentle. This is where you wanna be gentle, but get in there and fluff the basil around, mix it up and make sure that every leaf is coated in a nice thin layer of olive oil. If it seems a little dry, you can add more. It's very, very forgiving. Next step is to simply load it in the bag. And if you're not used to freezing things, here's how you work one of these bags. Close it all the way except for just the very corner. Lay it flat on the counter and gently push it down, expelling all of the air that you can. And then quickly close that last corner. And then look at that. Air is the enemy of frozen foods. So you want to get all that you can out of this bag. Six cups of basil fits really nicely in a quart bag if you have more than that. Don't upgrade to a gallon, but instead use multiple quarts. And now all you do is stash this in the freezer. And you can see that there's not a lot of olive oil here, but the small amount that we did use is gonna do two things. Number one, it helps prevent freezer burn. It creates a little protective barrier on the leaves. And then number two, it's gonna help it make it easy to break off a chunk of this whenever you wanna use it. And here's what it looks like out of the freezer. All you have to do is open it up, break off a chunk, and then add it to whatever you're making. Because it's frozen, it's gonna be best suited for something cooked. Another important thing to note is that this will thaw really quickly. So only take it out of the freezer once you're ready to use it, grab off a chunk, and then put it back right away. And that's it, you'll have frozen basil. This will last at least a year in your freezer. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you're the first to know whenever a new video is posted. Mm -hmm.